Hi everyone, this is Bethany, BA Crafty Girl, and I am doing this video in response to some messages and some comments that I got on my first video of cards that I had made for Operation Right Home. And as it turns out, <laughs> there's lots of people that want to make cards for Operation Right Home, which is awesome. And I am so excited. So, the question is though, is... Well, you can't use glitter, and you can't use this, and you can't use that, and and I'm nervous. <laughs> it's basically what it uh, adds up to be. So, I guess when I started, I before I started, I thought, I was thinking about those things too. I'm like, how am I going to make cards without my stickles, and how am I going to make cards without bling all over the place and flowers and all that kind of stuff and then I kind of thought maybe I'm thinking about it the wrong way maybe I should be thinking about it in terms of what I can use because quite honestly the list of things that you can use far exceeds the list of things that you can't use so we are all crafty people and we all have this huge imagination and inspire each other every day so we just need to hunker down and use that imagination in terms of a challenge. And we also do challenges all the time too. Whether it's a theme challenge or a color challenge, we challenge ourselves all the time. So just think about this as another challenge of not using glitter and not using flowers and not using huge embellishments. So I guess the first things I'm going to share with you are some stamp sets that I recently bought that uh, I have been using and uh, are pretty much perfect for Operation Write Home Cards. Uh, this first stamp set is from Hero Arts. It is called Everyday Sayings. There's the code right there. And the stamp set is great because one of the, th one of the cards that they need the most is Thinking of You cards. So there's one, two, three, thinking of you sentiments as well as just saying hello and you're the best and just a note and these are great the only ones that I you probably shouldn't use for operation right home cards are sorry for your loss congratulations um the happy anniversary deepest sympathy because especially and even on their latest uh youtube show they even talked about if you want to do a deepest sympathy or happy anniversary or congratulations, then only do one of those in the cards that you send because they just aren't as needed as thank you cards and saying hello cards and I love you cards and missing you cards. So just so you know, you can, and like this gets well soon one, like you can do like one or two, but most of them need to be love you, miss you, thank you, thinking of you, etc. Also, another one that I recently got, the next two are from IRTCP Studios from Joann's, and thinking of you, thank you, just for you, and you make me smile. Great size and great sentiments. Also, this one, hello, how are you doing? You're on my mind, friends forever, get well soon. Oh, the other one fell off, and just because. Now you probably wouldn't use the get well soon one as often as you would use this hello how are you doing you're on my mind one. Great size, perfect size, and I'll show you here in a minute. And uh, I think these were $9.99 each and you can use a coupon. I'm sure they're available on the website. I have not checked. So there's that. Also I have been really into paper tray ink stamp sets as of December so for a little bit now and those sentiments are they have wonderful sentiments as well so I'll go into the cards some of these cards I did show in my last video just because I wanted to show some different styles and stuff oh and and then another and an, another tip is let your paper do the work do some of the work for you let your paper do some of the work for you. And I mean, this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper and 
this was on all four corners so I cut it down so that these were in all the corners and then I used one of those stamps from that stamp set hello how are you you're on my mind popped it up with some thin dimensionals not huge dimensionals and and that's the card it's done so let your paper do the work for you this what paper is actually from Walmart um, I think another what other people get into another worry I guess is that you know what paper am I gonna use and blah 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 if you have a great card base a nice thick card base you can get away with using some thinner paper the thinner your paper is the more layers you can have and it's still not very thick which is cool so all you ladies out there who went and bought all that Studio G paper at Walmart for 97 cents <laughs> bust it out and you can do this let your paper do some of the work for you so I did that one which is similar I did this one which is similar I did several of those I did this one which is similar uh, this is a nestability and a technique that I'd always wanted to try but never had was you know when you leave the die on there and then do the inking to do the distressing and so I tried it and it didn't add any dimension to my project it's not glitter it's not flowers it's not huge I'm letting my paper do the work of embellishing and uh, I think it turned out cute is it necessarily my style of cards no it's not necessarily my style of cards but it's not really about me it's about giving a soldier a chance to write home which is a huge thing and then Another thing I would suggest is on Operation Write Home, they also have a they also have a blog that just uh, layouts for cards, like sketches, and go find a sketch and do it. I had never really done a sketch before until I found that blog. And uh, here's some ribbon, so you can use some ribbon. Just make sure that it's not too terribly thick or your knot on your bow is going to be too big to go through the mail. I did dimen use dimensionals on this stamp. I think it turned out super cute and I inked my edges and again kind of letting the paper do the work and then a nice sentiment. So I did two of those but they're kind of different. I think there is a limit on how many multiples you can make. I think it's like I'm not even gonna try. I don't remember how many but um, I only did maybe like four multiples or something. Here's another one of those where I let the card or the pa the paper do the work. And then this was another sketch. This was some ribbon from Paper Tray Ink that I dyed to match. This is a nestability and I wanted a little frame around the nestability so I kind of I glued it on some white paper and then fussy cut around it. This one I was having problems with <laughs> this is a nestability this is a stamp set from that hero arts stamp set I just showed you that just saying hello is this right here just saying hello but I inked each word up separately and made it go up and down to fit in the nestability and then I added some stitching lines with some, with a gel gel pin which which helped this card a lot actually I didn't know what I was gonna do so that helped a lot and then I think those oh here's an, here's another one and then you know use your die cut things that you have like I had this butterfly die that I had never used uh, from CC design so I used it today by the way it cut amazingly it was awesome and then I was like, oh, I can't put, I can't, I don't want, I guess, I shouldn't say you can't, because you can. You can use bling, but remember, you know, it has to go through the mail. So I was like, what can I do instead of bling to do the center of these butterflies? So I got my silver Krylon pen out and uh, just did the little bodies, and I think it turned out super cute. You could even draw some little antenna if you wanted. I cut these banners by hand. It was the same inspiration for this card, only I did the little banners instead. And then I, this is just a trim from Walmart, 
and to make it look like a little banner. This was from that stamp set from Hero Arts again. The thank you was actually all the way across, so I inked it up once, one, one at a time to make it go up and down, and then um, I did that dot stamp like three times. And I think that one turned out really cute. Most of these are blank on the inside because I figure they probably, if they're writing home, they have a lot to say. So I wanted to give them room to do that. Um, I think the rest of these I showed in a previous video. But I will show a couple of them again because I think they're worth noting. If you are a stamp and image and color with your Copics or your Prismacolor pencils, go for it. I didn't do it on these mainly because I wanted to get them out quick, but um, go for it. And this one's a happy birthday one. And then, uh, you know, use your coordinating dies. I have this stamp set from Paper Tray Ink that has the coordinating die. I used little dimensionals on that and I also did it on a coaster so that it gave it a little more dimension without adding too much. Um, some more ribbon. Now granted, would I like to put something else on this? I, I would. Or maybe I should have inked the edges of this white space before putting it on there, maybe. But the thing is, is I'd rather, I'd rather the recipient get it than put a flower on it and have it get stuck in the mail. I did two of these, so I thought they turned out super awesome. And of course, I've showed these in another video as well. It's a banner, a big banner. It says, happy celebrating your birthday. I did two of those. Here's this one with a little butterfly stamp. This was also a sketch. And then a little bit of ribbon. Just make sure if you do ribbon that the knot isn't like humongous. And also a trick on that that I watched on the Operation Right Home show is if you if you have a really thick ribbon that you want to use don't do a bow just do a knot and sometimes that takes care of that here's another one like the hot air balloons and another one like the hot air balloons but I think they have different sentiments yeah that one says thinking of you and that one says thank you and then this one says thank you again let your paper do some of the work for you and I ink the edges, and then this is a die and a stamp that go together from Paper Tray Ink. And, you know, use your colors of ink that you have, and stuff like that. And all I have left to do on these is stamp my name stamp on the back, and then stamp the Operation Right Home stamp. If you want an Operation Right Home stamp, you can get one for free by going on the Operation Right Home website, and then... Uh, you can find out all kinds of information there. You can get the list of things that they don't want you to use on your cards. You can get a list of the cards that are needed now. They also do challenges. Like, I think the Father's Day card challenge is going to start soon. And you can check on your little paper that you have to fill out that you want to be entered in the challenge. And then you might win a prize, which is cool. And then um, you can also uh, see where you need to ship yours because there's different sh shippers for different parts of the United States. And you can also get a free Operation Right Home stamp. Also, when I've the Operation Right Home stamps are made by Stampers Best at stampersbest.com. If you order from them, I've ordered from them three times, and every time I've gotten a free Operation Right Home stamp with them in my package. So just, so, you, just so everyone knows that, if you order from Stampers Best, you most likely will get a free one with what you order as well. But you can also send in for a free one on the right, Operation Right Home website if you don't want to make a purchase. So anyway, if you have any questions, um, I guess you could leave a comment below, or you can... Uh, look up the Operation Right Home webpage, just Google it, and you'll find it. You'll find tons of information there. Not only will you find information, you'll find videos about, you know, how to step, how to box up your cards or, um, you know, you get to watch. There's videos of, uh, you know, thank yous from soldiers on there, too. So that's pretty cool as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. I rambled on <laughs> for a good almost 15 minutes. 
and uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed looking at my cards. See you in the next video. Bye!